and this is your news rundown for the week. In Baguio City, labor and employment rights advocate sees ally in President Duterte. During a multi-stakeholders forum of the Cordillera All Workers Alliance, composed of different labor organizations in the region last August 10, the stand of President Rodrigo Duterte on ending contractualization, or more commonly known as ENDO, has been perceived to have a positive impact on the quest for seeking social justice for the Filipino workforce. According to Confederation for Unity, Recognition, and Advancement of Government Employees, National President for Diga Eat, Duterte's stand on contractualization is a passive development for their quest as well as for their counterpart in the private sector. He further stressed that they are looking forward to its implementation. In La Trinidad Benguet, the Department of Agriculture has set to build trading centers for farmers. The Department of Agriculture is set to build trading centers in strategic areas around Metro Manila for farmers to easily trade their products with the department. Agriculture Secretary Manny Pinol said the concept of the farmers' trading center is for farmers to bring their produce at the facility. The department will coordinate with buyers to avoid the hassle of transacting business with middlemen. It will also help decongest traffic in Metro Manila less than hundreds of delivery trucks. The said trading center will cater to farmers from northern and central Luzon provinces including the Cordillera region. It will be built at the property of the Department of Transportation at Maykawayan, Bulacan. The Benguet Agripinoid Trading Center will serve as consolidation point of all vegetable products at the Cordillera before transported to the Bulacan Trading Center. In Banggit Abra, the provincial government and DILG launched Project Salbar for drug surrenders. Last August 8, 2016, the Abra Provincial Government and the Department of Interior and Local Government launched Project Salbar, which aims to save drug surrenders in the province. The said project will cater to the needs and problems of drug users and pushers who surrendered to authorities. Project Salbar, derived from the Ilocano term for save, will conduct trainings and livelihood programs to promote the rehabilitation, aftercare, reintegration, and sustained transformation of the drug dependents. Abra Governor Ma Jocelyn V. Bernus explained the project Salbar requires its beneficiary to comply with certain conditions and go through a process in order to qualify for the benefits of the rehabilitation program. Abra Governor Jocelyn V. Bernus explained that Project Salbar requires its beneficiaries to comply with certain conditions and go through a process in order to qualify for the benefits of the rehabilitation program. Funds for the Project Salbar are sourced from the operational funds of the Provincial Peace and Order Council. In Tabu, Kalinga, the Kalinga Apayao Electric Cooperative energized 161 households in two sitios and one barangay. 64 households in Sitio Kadao, Balabag West in Rizal, and Tangbay in Gobgob, -Gob, and 97 households in Barangay Dakalan in Tanudan were recently energized and connected to the main grid. Clifford Alunday of Kaelco said beneficiaries are now enjoying the benefits of electricity, particularly with children being now able to study longer at night and residents enjoy viewing cable television. Alunday also bear that 20 households in four sitios are due for electrification this quarter. In Bontok Mountain Province, the Department of Agriculture dispersed sheep to Mountain Province farmers. The Department of Agriculture, in coordination with the Office of the Provincial Veterinary, continued to infuse grass-eating animals as alternative source of livelihood of local farmers in the province. Chief of the Office of the Provincial Veterinary, Rodel Bagawi, said 11 sheep of Dorper breed were recently distributed to selected farmers, beneficiaries. The sheep with one ram male and 10 Iwis female were provided by the DA Cordillera Regional Office under its livestock dispersal program. In Mayuyo, Ifugao, the town recently held its fifth peace festival. August 9, 2016 marked the fifth peace festival in the town of Mayoyao in Ifugao. The festival tag as Lenong Ad Majaujao or the Adventure for Peace Festival is held to commemorate the first battle fought in the eastern Ifugao during the World War II. Military, police, and local officials, war veterans, delegates from all municipalities of Ifugao, local and foreign tourists participated in the festival. There was a parade that started from the center of Barangay until the ridge of Mount Nagchayan where the marker and monument was erected. A red laying ceremony 
21 Gun Salute, a program in the public viewing of a film and photos of World War II followed the parade. And that has been our BIA Car Weekly News Roundup. Join us again next week for the latest news in the region. I am Joel Castro and this is your BIA Car Weekly News Roundup.